Earlier, we heard how Rani Mukherjee advocates self-defense training for girls and young women. And with South Africa now marking the annual 16 days of activism for no violence against women and children, we decided to make a practical contribution. I attended a class presented by martial arts grandmaster Sali Sayed on how to prepare myself to deal with danger and how to defend myself in a worst case scenario. Here's what he taught me about channeling my inner warrior. For too long now, the South African patriarchy has used violence to force its will on women, children and anyone else whom it sees as a soft target or threat. Society and the law have responsibility to take a strong stand against this, but potential victims cannot rely on them. Self-defense skills are now essential, and that's why I'll be spending time with Grandmaster Sali Sayed. Martial arts expert Sali Sayed is a hunchy, a holder of a black belt in the Nine Dan, but he's also mastered kickboxing, saibo and kendo, the art of Japanese swordsmanship. To his students, he's Soke, the Grandmaster of Kenshu Kai Karate Do. Oh, so, okay, why is self-defense such an important skill for women to have? Look at what's happening around us. Every 29 seconds, some woman in South Africa is raped. So you have to learn self-defense. We have to teach this to our men and women. This fear of being attacked is something that we've got to stop. What are some of the warning signs that people can become aware of? The warning signs you can look for is you know, somebody making advances by smiling at you, talking to you, you don't even know the person you should just avoid it because you don't know the person and why is this person approaching you? It's not always verbal, but also body language. We teach people how to raise their five senses so that the sixth sense can come in. It's a little difficult when it comes to children and girls, but we've got to teach them they've got to be cautious. So, okay, what are the benefits of studying a martial art? Anyone that starts martial arts is going to build up wonderful coordination. The body will be able to move easier and do things that otherwise that person won't be able to do. What comes from good coordination and concentrating on the movement, your concentration becomes better. And once those two things are in order, the confidence levels get higher. And those three things are what we teach every day in our classes. How do you empower people through your work? Karate martial arts is about science, psychology and philosophy of fighting. So when you come to the dojo, we start teaching you tighten the slack, toughen the body and polish the spirit. So tighten the slack is stop being slovenly and, and sloppy. Toughen the body by doing the push-ups, doing the training that we do, tensing the muscles and so forth, the body becomes stronger. And of course, once you've got a strong body, you also have to have a good personality that goes with it, otherwise you become a bully. So we don't want that. So that's how we empower people. Shall we get started? Yeah. Let's say, for example, Sumeya is going to grab Nikita around the neck. You want to get loose, right? You're going to pull her hands, but it's not going to happen because she's too strong. So now use your two hands. Hit her here and hit her there. And a kicker on the yeah, and she's gonna definitely leave. Zakia, the next one is an opponent is pinning me on the ground. You will jump on top of me, right? So right, now I'm here. You push me down, so I'm gonna try to move this arm. You think I'm trying to get out here? You think I'm trying to get out here, but I'm gonna kick you here. As I kick you here on both my feet, I'm gonna lift him up and that throws you off balance. Then I'm gonna kick you. I'm gonna come across, hit you with my reach and the throw. Wow, man, that's happening. And from there maybe a punch to the groin. And that should end the fight. Thank you very much, this is Maya. You may leave, thank you. So, okay, we've discussed close contact, but what if someone has a gun? As a martial artist, we're taught to do the unexpected. Never follow the norm, right? So you pointed a gun at me. Do the unexpected, you walk closer to the person with the gun. Negotiate, talk, till your gun is on my belly. The closer the gun is to my belly, the better. Now, I would also show you the universal sign of surrender. Now, from this point here, look. Take the gun as fast as possible, put your hands out of the way. Open the person up. Slap the face, kick the groin, break out the gun from your head. Okay, that is incredible. You've got to do the unexpected. So, okay, how can men contribute to the conversation when it comes to female empowerment? In the old days, we had a so-called village situation. In the village, young men were taken out when they reached puberty, and they were made to understand and practice manhood with all the values of what a man should be. We need to get out there as men, as martial artists, as mentors, and start talking to the youngsters and explaining things to them and also giving them the confidence because I think a lot of men don't even have the confidence to understand this whole situation. So, okay, what message do you have for the men out there? It all starts with mentorship. And the mentorship starts with the father as the first mentor of the child. So the boy 
growing up in the home, must see his father's behavior and action towards his mother, towards his sisters, if he's got, and towards aunties, grandparents, whatever it is. So that will teach him to be a protector, not an aggressor. So, okay, what is your message for 16 days of activism for no violence against women and children? Whoever's involved in teaching martial arts should get involved and try to make it a nationwide thing. And although it's only 16 days, it can be a kickstart for somebody to start a program, learn as much as they can, and find the enjoyment of it, and also the confidence in the build from it, and then continue it throughout the year. So, okay, today was so incredibly important for our viewers out there. Thank you so much. Oof. As a mother, as a sister, and as a woman, it's very important to learn self-defense. Action needs to take place so that this can finally stop. Always remember in a dangerous situation, poke them in the eyes, knead them in the groin and run like hell. Many of us are put off the idea of self-defense because it seems violent. But as I've learned today, there's more involved than mastering kicks, blocks and punches. It's all about doing the unexpected and being able to control fear. We're living in a dangerous world and the way of the spirit warrior enables us to focus the energy of body and mind on surviving. Yeah!